database checkpoint runtime database checkpoint is to make an action in a script based on that action you are checking the db it can be you have deleted a record you go and check whether the record is physically deleted or logically deleted you create an order check whether the order is really created or not you updated an order you want to check whether the history files are created for the update or not anything that concerns to the security one that is cannot be seen on the form on which you are operating on in such situations we may have to go with database checkpoint now i will create an order and i check in the back end whether that order is physically created or not that is what i am going to do now now i go to file new already in new i record under this flight i'm recording going to record on this flight i open this is my base state so i open my flight reservation screen i now click on record i'm in the recording mode flight then where selecting a flight table flight from table insert order i have inserted the order now i need to note the order number that has got created in my case it is 171 this 171 order number i need to check in the db physically whether this 171 exists or not that is my first level of my check please note i have created an order that order number what we have seen in the screen is 171 is this 171 physically created in the db so i need to check that for this what we need to know we need to know what is the database under which this orders are stored and the table name under which this created information are stored so database name table name are important for us to know once we know the database i need to ensure that database is mapped to my qtp through odbc connector we have done that i go to insert now checkpoint database checkpoint under this database checkpoint i am now retrieving the order matching 171 so i specify query manually in my case i know my db name is online qtp this is my session name this is mapped to the already database in this online qtp i'll say now select star from orders where order underscore number equals 171 i finish this please note here i have now made it as grade equal to 171 i can make also greater than equal to as well greater than equal to means the left hand side portion as we explained in the previous session greater than equal to at the time of run if i have more orders 
matching greater than equal to 171 all will get listed in the collection so here now I am into the expected result creation in the expected result I have created a record matching to 171 this is where understanding is important questions in case you have it will be answered once we complete database checkpoint so 171 is the order for which I have created an expected result so this is pre-created expected result. that is the first point you need to understand second for this I am going to compare now when I run I run before I do that I say ok you can see now db table is created I move the db table to the last line because after creation after I finish off my creation I need to check whether that 171 exists or not now try to understand the problem or points that we need to note under checkpoint properties we have created a record this is pre-created record and this is created against order number 171 this 171 is what I am going to compare the important thing here is cell identification how I am going to compare with my actual in actual you can see now DB table right hand side right click object properties under this object properties my query says it is greater than equal to 171 so when I do now one run you know now order number that will get created is 172 when I run the script since it is a create order script it will create order number 172 we agree second I am right left hand side my query says greater than equal to 171 since it is greater than equal to 171 in this collection 172 order also will be present I am trying to explain it in the data table itself so in this data table assume that the column A is my runtime, column B is expected. Expected has one row that is 171 order number. Actual if I run the script it will have 171 and 172. There are two orders now in the actual that is when I run the script now try to understand this try to see how our script works to enable first failure so that the understanding is better what I do is in my expected result I change a value of customer so that it fails I am forcing the failure here so that we understand how QTP manages the checkpoint of database I am forcing the failure now I am going to run the script see what happens if I run the script what you need to mentally accept is left hand side that is the DB table object at line number 12 left hand side DB table will have two informations because we have made a query greater than 171 equal to greater than equal to so 171 will be the first record 172 will be the second record 171 already recorded 172 is the current record that is created whereas in expected only one record we have added that is 171 to ensure understanding is correct we are forcing the failure for that we have changed the name property customer name in the expected result to different value so that it fails I run the script now just watch as it runs
so he's activating the flight here I don't have to bother about synchronization the reason being by default I am checking after the completion of the script I am checking with the database so I'm not much bothered about synchronization so it is inserting the order now he is going to do the comparison he has compared I go to automation open the result he has executed line number last line now we are forcing the failure so you can see now I have check on checkpoint DB table you can see the order number is compared I am double click on the order number you can see he has compared with 171 versus 171 because that is what we have instructed him to compare that's fine and customer name against that line item he has compared name is the actual expected is 123 because we are forcing the failure so this is fine what made QTP to compare 171 versus 171 because our expectation is it is supposed to compare 172 exist or not that is what runtime means whereas he is now comparing 171 versus 171 that we are clear based on this expected versus actual perfect let us first go back to the DB in this checkpoint I will go to the expected result what we instruct to QTP using cell identification in cell identification we have instructed how to compare identify columns by position by column names position means first column versus first column second column versus second column that is position by column name means the column name that you see order underscore number customer underscore name departure date flight underscore number column name he tries to match it with the actual actual is nothing but DB table object where it has created a session in our understanding column A has multiple rows column B has multiple rows and multiple columns each is an object now how I am comparing rows by row number I am comparing now row number by row number here the row number is 1 I compare with row number 1 in the actual that is how I make the comparison so he compares row number by row number he checks the value assume that next time when I create an order it will be 173 so I want him to compare 173 so I changed my expected result to 173 sorry expected result constant value I changed to 173 now let us see what happens when I run the script I am going to run the script the settings currently are cell identification column is by name so all columns are compared with name then selected key column sorry identify rows by row number each row by row he compares left hand side as I run the script now you all know that 173 is also part of the list the reason being when I run the script I open the DB table object properties in this object properties source is greater than equal to 171 since it is greater than equal to 171 or uh, the collection include 171 172 and the newly created order that is 173 and all its columns even though I am giving only the first row number in my A column and B column of action sheet but it actually creates all columns of that row expected 
still have one I now made it as 173 so 173 is now being compared with 171 that is what you need to understand if that understanding is clear the other portion what we are going to take becomes easier now it is running the script it is executing now so he is going to insert the order as he inserts the order then db table he is now going to compare yes done the comparison now i go to the last run results automation results i open the result window we know it is going to fail because the failure is at the customer name that is what our expectation is so here but if you see the way he failed 173 even though it exists in the collection of left hand side that is db table but he failed because he is comparing now with 171 so that is what you notice here what we expect him to do is he is supposed to compare 173 with 173 he is not supposed to compare with 171 even though 171 being the first row so that is the understanding we need to have because in actual it may the order number may be present anywhere so in such case he is comparing now 173 in 171 he has failed customer name is fine so we all know that he has not compared with 173 and since 173 exists with the system actuals so how do I make him to compare 173 versus 173 not with 171 what to do for that is what we are going to see now I close this result I come to the DB table checkpoint properties under DB table checkpoint properties I now want him to compare 173 with 173 exactly what is the row number I may not know I go to cell identification now I choose by selected key call so key column indicates don't go by row by row irrespective of row if this order number of column B appears anywhere in column A I treat it as that row I compare and then make it as a pass and fail so this entire row is now compared with first row that was by row number now the entire first row I want him to compare by selected key column the selected key column in my case I choose order number is my selected key column so by selected key column I am going to compare so when I do that this 173 still my expected is 173 173 is now compared with row number 4 instead of comparing with row number 2 so wherever that 173 exists in runtime I do my comparison I am going to run the script please note still our actual problem is not resolved if I run the script I will create 174 as well but my expected is not comparing with 174 it is comparing with 173 still actual runtime point is not yet solved but what we are trying to understand is instead he compares with row number we are making him to compare that key column that is matching value of the key column if I consider go to checkpoint properties once I made it as a key column you might notice here there is a key 
under that order number. That key indicates that order number is the key column irrespective of which row he presents. That entire row of key column 173 is now compared. Let me run this. I change here, say the name value, I'll change it to 15. Even though it is 123 in my expected, I am changing it here to 15 so that we are sure it is compared with 173. For 171, the name was name. It was not name with 15. Whereas now 173, I changed it to, sorry, 173 is also name. 174 will create with name 15. I run the script. 173 is already created. 173 is still with the old name. So what we need to ensure is, is he comparing with 173 or not? So he's creating the order now. So as he creates, the order number will be 174. Name is 15. As he creates order, note down the order number. That is 174. It is created. Now DB table comparison happens. It is done. I go to last run result. Automation result. In this result, first we need to ensure is he has compared 173 versus 173. If that clarity is there, then we move on to the next. How I make him to compare with actual. Now you can see 173 is the order key column. Double click on order number. You can see that he has compared expected is 173. Actual is 173. Actual it is 173 because it is greater than we have put. Greater than equal to because of that 173 still appears. I now change greater than to some other value. Same 173 he is trying to compare with some other value. I will try to change my actual query. I am changing my actual query. So DB table object I select. Object properties. I go to object properties. I am now changing my query to greater than 174. So 173 now doesn't exist. When 173 is doesn't exist, we need to see what is the behavior of our checkpoint. That I am going to show you. This ensures that he compares that line item 173. Now when I change it, I say okay, how my expected result will be? Run time. Run time value. Here expected. After the change, my first record will be 174. Expected is 173. Uh, second record, as I run now the script, it becomes 175. So there will be two records. One record will be 174. Another record will be 175. Let us see how he compares. So 173 doesn't exist. Let us run the script, see how it works. I am trying my best to take you step by step. If required, you have to repeat the recorded sessions. Make sure understanding is clear. When I explain, it always looks simple. But when you start doing by yourself, you will see lot of confusions arise, doubts arises, what if something else happened, etc. Unless otherwise you practice, repeat the recorded session, it is very difficult to get the essence of it. It has completed successfully, run, I go to automation, result. When I go to the result, 
you can see it has failed we expected a failure not an issue but what how he has failed now you can notice now all records are with cross mark the reason being when i click on 173 he now compares with in actual he has not seen 173 because he could not see that record he says row not found row not found indicates that this 173 doesn't exist in my actual why it doesn't exist i made it as greater than or equal to 174 since it is greater than or equal to 174 173 doesn't exist because of that he has failed so as of now what we have seen is two levels one is comparison done using row by number first row i compare with first row in my actual there are two components in the database checkpoint one is my actual another is the expected result that we created through wizard that expected result can be configured manually or through script that is what we are going to see next once the expected result is there i compare now expected versus actual when i do compare i compare in following ways i can compare row by row first row versus first row second row versus second row third row versus third row that is how the table checkpoint worked second i can compare through key column key column when i click it compares that key column value he tries to match it in the actual and compare that row versus expected that is what he does when he do the runtime checkpoint the key column is the important category when i now run the script i like him to test the order number that i've created now I want him to compare the order number that I create, I want him to compare. I don't want him to compare for 73 or 74. I want him to compare the current order number that I create. That has to be compared with the DB, whether that order number is created or not. So to do that, what I need to do? First is after insert order, order number gets generated we know if I am able to retrieve that order number and store that order number in my checkpoint properties I go to checkpoint properties instead of 173 if I am able to make a parameter and configure my parameter global sheet I say here dt underscore order number if I am able to compare order number that I try to store here. So when I insert after insert order, I get the order number, store it into this location. Once I store it into this location, I want QTP to take the value from there and then compare. So now this 173 is no longer 173, it is dynamic. I want that row to comp get compared with the order number that I create and store. Then the checkpoint becomes parameterized. Now just note I need to retrieve the order number. I know after the insert order I get the order number. I go to line number 11. I go to active screen. I like to now retry order number. This also we have seen in our output value session. So insert output value. I am now using insert output value to store. Because when I do data table parameterization, database parameterization, it tries to retrieve the value from a parameter. And that parameter that we are using is data table. So I try to store the order number into data table. I know which property holds the order number that is text property. Where you want to store, you can see by default he creates some other output name. 
I don't want to create it under this name. I want him to store it under DT order number. This is the location I want him to store because this is the location from where checkpoint will retrieve the order number. So we have seen this. I say OK. It is override. Yes. I finished my before current step because I am in line number 11. Before current step it creates the order number. We all know in this session that after insert order there will be a synchronization weight I need to use. So for time being I use simple weight 8. I now completed this. I am going to run the script. When I run the script after insert order he waits for 8 seconds. He stores the value in DT order number and that value now in checkpoint we have configured that DT order number value and that DT order number is what he is going to take it as my input value. Since cell identification says by selected key column that selected key column is now nothing but the current order number that we created. He compares the entire row with the current key column. In our case that name 123 is the expected result. What we are trying to now add is 15 name 15 because of that it is going to fail. Let us see how it works. I now run the script. Very useful checkpoints. It is very easy to do through QTP rather than database uh, queries. So we now take with a wizard database checkpoint as a wizard compare it pass the result. We will later see in our next session of our, uh, VB scripting. We will see how to do through third party objects how to do the same through our query. That also we will see. Now it is done 176 is the order number. What our expectation is, 176 needs to be compared, that's all. So he has now created 176 and that 176, I come to automation result. In this result, I open up checkpoint. You can now see 176, I double click on the column number, 176 is compared with 176. So that is ensured. Customer name, we are forcing the failure, so it has failed. So this is how database checkpoint works. So in case even this customer name should not fail etc. I parameterize that as well. Once I parameterize that, then that becomes a comparison is identical. Now I am forcing the failure because expected result is created well before, not at the runtime value. So I now covered what is database checkpoint. We had two sessions, one on database table checkpoint comparing all the rows of one table to another table. In another session, now what we have seen is database runtime checkpoint. Under runtime checkpoint, we understood following things. One, we created an expected result at the time of recording. That expected result, whatever we have created, that is stored under checkpoint properties. And that checkpoint properties is a pre-created expected result. This expected result I can parameterize. Initially we have understood how this expected result is compared with the actual using cell identification. By default cell identification was identify columns by column name and identify rows by row number. This is what the default setting. So when it is row number he compares expected result first row versus first row in the actual. 
db table object that you see in line number 14 is my first row in that session I have whatever I have it in the first row I compare it with first row because of that it doesn't do the actual runtime so my expectation is I create an order that order I want to check whether it exists in the database or not is it physically created there or not to do that I have now used selected by key columns selected by key columns allows QTP to compare expected result to wherever that is available in the actual it can be in the first row it can be in the tenth row it can be in the nth row he make to make him to compare wherever it exists we used by selected key column in our actual we have used greater than in our query so I have to select so in the actual I have my query in this query since I have used greater than I know whatever order number I create that is part of this query since I am confident on that once I made it to the key column he now compares that order with the currently created order so this is what we have seen it under 